this video today is something that I just, I have to make because like, it's out there and it's embarrassing and it's humiliating and um, I tried to call, talk to David and I tried to call Jason and both of them seemed to play it off as crazy people, psychotics would, and just be like, oh, sorry, didn't know, no, didn't, sorry again, and then Jason tried to, he didn't even apologize, didn't have any regrets or any remorse, and so I said, okay, and this video will be all over the place, because I don't even know what it is, I mean, <laughs> after this, obviously, me and Jason are done, which is so heartbreaking to me, because, um, I love him so much. Like, I've never felt happier or safer or more, like, at peace in a relationship than with him most of the time. And even crying now. Every, if I would cry like this, I have cried like this, I wouldn't call Jason. And he says, stop, stop with the fake tears. You're manipulating me. It's like, it's, no, there's actual pain. And... And I'm just going to put it all out on this video. And I'm starting with David. Because even though Jason's creepy and disgusting, on a whole other level of being an actual horrible person. So, if you watch David's vlog, which I, a lot of people have because I get tweets and comments and texts about it, there's this joke that he knows I don't like, so he pushes it. He pushes it because he knows it gives, like, a reaction from me. And then, like, at the beginning, it's, like, funny. And then, like, finally, I, I like, there was a vlog where I take all my clothes off in David's house because I'm so pissed. I'm just so pissed. And I ask him. I even say, like, it's not in the video, but I, I'm quiet. I'm, like, I'm not going to even add to this. Like, if you guys want to joke about it, it's fine. I'm not going to add to this anymore. Like, it, 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 it hurts me. <laughs> but it also disgusts me. And there was actually, like, a clip back in 27 feet of me on you now calling Jason, like, disgusting for... They say it's bits. That's how they, they justify saying stupid stuff and doing stupid stuff at David's walk. It's bits, but no, it's, they're real people in real life. They they cover it up by saying it's a bit. And he, and he said he, there was this thing of, like, before we started dating, I knew him, but we weren't dating, and he it said, like, he tried to make he tried to kiss Tiana in a dressing room because they went on, like, a date for a vlog, him, Jason and Hannah. And, and they both say that, you know, Jason tried to kiss her, and she, like, pulled away, and he's like, oh, it was for the video. Just talk about it for me for the video. Which I know Jason, and I had gone on a date with him for a vlog a couple months before, and he tried to him, obviously, I reciprocated to my ex, so I know if she would have reciprocated. I know, I know Jason, I know him, so, um, so anyways, so that was that, and then I just have always said repeatedly to David, repeatedly, that I'm like, it's not a funny joke, it's not funny, it's like, even that night when he, like a couple of vlogs ago, he's like, he didn't have a, a, a bit, a big bit for his vlog, and so we go over there, and he's like, how, how bad do you want to help me, and then I got pissed at him, I got pissed at him that night, and I said, you know, not everything is for your freaking vlog, no, it's just a vlog, um, and so I got really, really pissed, and, um, I don't blame Tiana on any of this, like, I have no ill feelings towards her, she's really cool to me, like, she's always like, I just want to be your friend, I just want to hang out, like, <clears throat> and I'm, and so, like, I don't think she, and she's always, like, repulsed by it, and so, like, I, I have, no, this is nothing to do with her, and she's, a, you know, a 20-year-old girl, she was, like, 18 or something when they went on that date, so it's like, you know, she's just trying to live her life outside, she has a boyfriend, whatever, so I, I'm not, this is nothing against her. And then they invited her over anyways, and I was asleep, but I could kind of hear, and her just being like, no, that's, like, gross, like, no offense, but that's gross, or whatever. And it's gross. Jason's 45, I'm 30, it's gross, it's gross. And so, um, he calls, we go home at, like, 3 a.m. that day, and he calls Jason, and I guess him and Jason filmed this bit from a few months ago, and it made the vlog of Jason saying, you know, he would buy David a Ferrari if he could get the threesome with <laughs> Tiana and me, and just like the whole thing, we've always talked about threesomes, I'm so insecure, I hate cheaters, I hate people cheating or wanting to cheat, or like, I'm not good enough, like, I'm not good enough to, that like, you have to go try, it. you want to hook up with a 20 year old, you know what I mean, it's, it's so like, heartbreaking, it's like, he's, he's the last person, the reason I love him so much, or I did love him, or I do, I don't
of anything because I don't even know what I was talking about or where I was at. But, um, as I told him, like, it's, it's, you know, that joke is, like, it's gross. It's a gross joke. It's, it's, it's not even a joke. Like, I mean, he, it's, you know, then this morning, Saturday morning, Dave posted a vlog of, and I saw it on his Snapchat of, like, Tana in the car and Jason, and I'm not there. It's, like, midnight on Thursday night, the day before our video shoot, <laughs> the day of our first day of video shoot, it was a good day. And asking Tana what Jason, what he thinks about Jason having a threesome with her, and then Jason not saying anything. <laughs> he just tried to, like, make it right, because they know I'm pissed now, and be like, oh, I would have told Jason to take that joke out, like, I meant to text him that. It's like... <laughs> it just it just makes me look like a fool. Like it makes me look so stupid and it's not even it's not even the comments, which the comments are bad. Saying, you know, Tana's, you know, six years older than Jason's son. <laughs> it's like but beyond the comedy. And it's something that I didn't think I could get over. Like even when I saw it Tuesday, so David calls Jason Day morning at like three AM when we get back and he's like he's like, Can I use that tan the bit from the bedroom about you wanting a threesome with Tana? And it's Jason being like, David why are you so worried if you think Tana to have sex with me and Trish? And, like, it's so gross. And this is way, this is after I've told, and David's response to me this morning was like, sorry, didn't know, joked about it before, won't do it again, sorry. <laughs> David Dobrik isn't, and I know this video is going to give me so much hate because everyone's up his butt, but they're going to realize, and something bad is going to happen in that group. I don't know what it is. Something bad, something dangerous, something, like, like, they do all these dangerous things, one's gonna either die, or, like, also, there's people dating Brandon in their friend group, was dating a high schooler last year. She was 17 years old, and when I would talk about this with, like, David, he would literally be like, oh, see, it's a big deal, he's 24, like, she's 17, like, you know, just because it's the law, like, a year, like, six months, and six months she'll be 18, I'm like, it's disgusting, like, people have found this out, and, like, Brandon will call David and be like, oh, like, you gotta, you gotta delete these comments about her age, and that. She, she was in high school when they started, like, dating and hooking up, like, it's this whole, like, weird thing, and I've told David so, so many times, and for him to be like, no, no, it's like, that's, like, an evil person, and that's what I was trying to explain to Jason, like, that's an evil person, because <laughs> other people have asked him to take out bids, like, Corinna, I, she always is asking him to take out bids, and you know what, the whole vlog squad chat, text group, group chat is gonna blow up, because last year when we had our little breakup, they all... They're all gonna be pissed. I don't give. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I put up with stuff for so long because, like, I really love Jason, but he has. He doesn't have any respect for me at all. And honestly, I hate to say it, but. I feel. You know, we've always said, like, oh, Jason's clearly not into Trisha. I'm using it for the videos and the storyline. And I have to question if that's true because. You know, so many things have happened where Jason just gives zero, he blatantly disregards everything I say, or respect for me, like, we were, this is the truth, um, like, back in well, September when he got the house, he had told me that he got this house to surprise me, but when he asked his ex-wife, she said, absolutely not. If you move in with Trish, um, like, I will take you to court, and I will take the kids away from you, even though she never sees the kids. Jason has them every weekend. They have a full-time nanny. I was like, she's not going to take, and he takes them to school every morning. Like, she's not going to take them away from you. You literally are their primary caregiver. You know what I mean? Like, but he was so scared, and that was, like, the big threat. And I was like, first of all, what an evil person to threaten to take away someone's kids. But also, like, and you notice, like, when I came around, she, like, took the kids out of, like, the vlogs which is fine, but they were in, like, David's, which were way worse mine, and, um, it's, like, all that stuff, like, and then she, like, took him out when I came around, and then she was living with her boyfriend, that was the kicker of it, she was, <laughs> she had her boyfriend living with her, it's, like, and, um, and then she's, like, oh, but he can live with Todd and Scott, and now just Todd, who was single, and, like, I've, I've been over there where there's, like, people just laying on the couch in the morning, just spending the night laying, like, random people. People. And Todd bringing home girls and doing whatever else they do. It's, like, with, and he's up there in the, in the, the 
kids and kids. I'm like, that's okay to live with him, but someone you're in a relationship with, you can't live with. Like, it was just, like, just stuff like that that he just, I'm like, how can you not stick up for me? And then I, then he started thinking, like, maybe he doesn't, maybe he's not in it for, like, the long haul. Um, and all this sucks because I feel like we were on the steps, like, on the road to... I just thought this was it. I found this person that's so good to me because he is. But he's good to me. He's so good to me. He's so nice to me. But then there's sometimes like when I cry because I'm being manipulative. You know, his ex-wife invited him to Thanksgiving, but I couldn't come. He and I spend time with the kids all the time, and I'm not allowed to come. It's like she's she's like just a really evil person. She takes her kids to feminist marches yet says oh she does that naked stuff it's like that's what a feminist is is empowering other women and their bodies and not sexualizing stuff it's like she's she's a, just, i mean this whole thing wasn't gonna work i mean she's like evil and controlling and just like a, but then to also have david on top of it which is jason's money right and he cares and he doesn't rightfully so he's just, he can really just keep money right now like providing for his kids and like making as much money as possible because he you know never really made money before so he's david's like his meal ticket and so if this is what they find funny and he supports this kind of person that would put this stuff out there but not i'm putting equal blame on both of them i sent them a group chat and into bunch individual texts but this is what they think is okay and after i repeatedly asked david multiple times like i'm not participating in this i don't like this joke it's gross and then he was writing Tan over that night. It's like, I heard it. I was still, I was like asleep, but I could still hear. I was like fully asleep. But like, him like trying to convince. It's, it was so gross, you guys. It was so gross. Like him trying to convince Tana to like go in the bedroom. And like Jason with his shirt off. And like, it was just like so gross and so creepy. And I was just like, why are you doing this to my heart? <laughs> like, I wouldn't, well, they don't understand. Like, what Jason doesn't understand or probably even David is like, my heart is like, out when he asked him he asked jason can he use the bedroom bit about him wanting to sleep with tana from a few months ago and jason first said no and then i just was like whatever and i turned around and he's like oh she's like do whatever and he still used it it's like and then he even said i'll drop it knowing he knew he knew that it's like such he had a call to ask jason to use the bit because he knows that that's crossing a line and any other person who's asked Jason, David to like not use something or whatever, but Jason's so scared of like losing his meal ticket that he just like appeases him. And if he chooses that over me, then that's fine. And to be honest, <laughs> we were on different paths anyways. I was just trying to keep it together for, I don't know. I don't know what, for the sake of trying to keep a relationship together, I suppose. But, yeah, I'm sure the backlash of this video is going to be horrendous, <laughs> and it definitely will be the end of me and Jason, which really sucks, <laughs> because all his friends will hate me, David will hate me, it's like, it doesn't, it, you know what, that's, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter, because, like, I don't know why I'm upset about not being with him anymore because it's just, it's just disgusting. It's something I can't get through. You know, let's see, this morning, I was just, oh, God, I, I like, it physically just broke my heart. I just thought, this is it. This is it. Like, you're in a car with David and Tana and, like, who, God knows who else at midnight at USC with other random girls. It's like, that's not the, that's not someone I want to date. You know, the rest of my life someone that I want to be committed to it's like that's, that's not right and, I, and I'm not, to be honest I've gotten way less jealous because I felt secure but it's just it's a whole other level of insecurity it's one thing to have someone cheat on you and it's usually in private they usually try and hide it but this is just out there and it's um, joke or not which it's not really a joke because before we even started dating he would he went on a date with Tana and tried to, like, 
make out with her and she was not having it because what 18 year old wants to make out with a 45 year old unless you're screwed up in the head like I was at 18. Um, but there's just so many other things that I'm not trying to do this whole exposed video about every single horrible evil thing that David has done but um, you know he, he yeah, I don't think there should be a YouTuber out there that, like, ruins people's lives, like, that literally, because, like, he is, he, he, he messes with people for vlogs, and he provokes people for vlogs, and, and I just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's right, and I used to really love David, I used to think he was, like, so charming, in the same way Ted Bundy was charming, <laughs> I guess, you know, I, everyone thought he was charming, too, he turned out to be a serial killer. And that's the same how I kind of feel. And I've really lost all respect for David. Like I said, I, don't, I hold Jason accountable for saying gross, creepy things, but I lost all respect for David for like putting it out there. And just the stuff he enables. There's so much just awful shit that happens. And it's, it's so scary. And this is why I'm going to isolate myself and just <laughs> I'm happy being alone. Good luck to the next girl, Jason Dates. Good luck. <laughs> There's so much more that, like, that goes so much deeper, but I'm, like, I'm getting not about, like, ruining people's lives, but there's so much more just sh BS that I just, I, I, I just kind of deal with, but, you know, you want something to work so bad, and when I did, the, we did this in a Valentine's Day music video that was amazing, it cost me a lot of money, and then the song, when I wrote the song, I was so in love with him, I was, he was doing all these wonderful things that he does, I mean, that's the thing about Jason, he's, like, a nice guy, this weird perverted side has come out, and then also, like I said, I, I don't even know, he, he has no backbone, and his ex-wife controls his life, so, um, anyways, I love to the next girl, and I just, you know, I don't think it's fair that they can publicly put this out, but I, I can't publicly have a voice, you know, just be like, just calm down, don't make a video, it's like, no, you put this out there, like, I, why can't I, David Stans come at me, I don't care, like, everyone hates me and unsubs and whatever I know how it works he's the big fish and I'm trashy and nobody and whatever anything else you want to say about me but alright guys um that's it that's my thoughts and like that's just it I just I just want to like put it out there because I do get tweets about how gross and creepy Jason is and the videos and in the comments it's I don't, I don't want to be dating someone like that. I don't. And it's not like it's not just the comments, but like I see it too. It's just like affirm like confirmation that I'm like, yeah, that's that's gross. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend who looks at twenty year olds that way, even as a joke. I think it's gross. And anytime I've ever made the joke, obviously one people people always say like you could tell I'm joking. Obviously, two I said I always ask Jason like if it actually bothers you, I'll stop it. And I haven't made those jokes in a long time because I'm like if it. Even though he's like, no, no, it's fine, because he's like, anything for the blog. But I haven't made those jokes. And three, he said, oh, you talk about Jason Moa. Jason Moa is a celebrity married, and, like, he's 40, a full-grown adult. And also, I'm not in a car alone with Jason Moa at midnight at USC. And, like, it's... So, I mean, the music video probably comes out, which sucks, but... It's Tuesday. Valentine's Day. It's fine. Like, it's... I... I can't even take it, I can't even try and keep myself calm or sane or normal till then.